In this workbook, we have a list of customer orders and we are going to use an advanced filter to send a list of specific orders to a different worksheet. So here's the sheet where we're going to create a list of the orders. Back in this worksheet, we've got some criteria set up. So right now the criteria range just has total and we want orders with a total of greater than a thousand. We also have a list of items on this worksheet. Right now we're interested in just bread and cookies. To add that list to our criteria range, we can add another cell. So I'm going to leave the heading blank. And in this cell, I'm going to use a formula. Starting with an equal sign, we want to check to see if a specific product is in our list of products. So we'll use the count if function for that count if and we're counting this column and the comma and click on the first product and then close the bracket and press enter. Because cookies is in this list we get a one here. If this were a different product that's not in our list so if that were milk the result of that formula is zero. I'll just undo that to put cookies back in there. And now to run the filter, we want the results on this other worksheet. So we're going to start on this worksheet. I've clicked a cell away from our heading range. And on the data tab, I'll click advanced. We want to copy to another location. The list range is back on the order sheet. And I'll select those cells. The criteria range is also on the order sheet. I'm going to select both heading cells, even though one is blank and then the two cells that have the criteria. We want to copy to this range and I'll click OK. We have three orders and it shows me the date and the customer for those orders where the product is in our list and the total is greater than a thousand.